on the short term, we're working, I think, on, on two big axes. The first axis is to continue what we started to do in our last sustainability program, is to make sure that out of our plants, no waste is going to landfill anymore. We are aiming to having zero waste to landfill by 2025. We did 70%, we only have 30% to do. I think most of our plant managers will agree that the 30% that are still there are probably the hardest ones to get rid of. But we see very nice examples, like for example, the, the plant in, uh, in Simbach, which is our wood wool plant, where we see that they took some of their waste streams, they sended it to other of our plants to see how it could uh, be recycled. That's from the plant's perspective, but we also completely open to the market. And when I say to the market, it's about construction and deconstruction waste. There we see a complete paradigm shift, I think. Uh, a few years ago, we almost never received questions to take back construction waste when products were delivered and installed and the cutoffs landed in, into the landfill. Today, our customers are coming back to us and say, well, we have a few leftovers after the construction sites. Could you please take them back? And, and that's where we see that we're setting up uh, elements like resolution that looks to glass wool and rock mineral wool coming back from the construction sites to have them recycled in our plants. But also, for example, in the Netherlands, we have an initiative called Recycle Club, where we set up baling machines or press containers at wood prefab constructors, where they can put their leftovers. And this material is also coming back and then uh, sent to uh, different recycling routes. So we see that step by step in the different regions we start setting up services to take back this waste coming from construction sites. And it's something where we need to learn. These are all pilots we are setting up, but what we see at the same moment is that the demand from the market is increasingly growing. So we, this will be a must-have service within the coming years and we see that in the different regions of the group. In parallel to that, we also look to deconstruction waste. And when we talk about deconstruction waste, the, the biggest project we have at the moment is the looping project, which is to set up a recycling plant here in Vizet, where we will recycle glass mineral wool coming back from deconstruction sites. So the objective is not to give a service to our customer anymore, but really to become a recycling plant, to buy the waste, to sell the service, to have this waste recycled, to take it in and to create an extra secondary raw material for our plant so that we can even more increase our recycled content. So two different perspectives. Construction sites, we offer an extra service from the deconstruction site. We really become part of that recycling business to create our own secondary raw materials.